Hi, I'm Autumn Garrett, um, as you can tell by the channel name, uh, but also, I, I always say it. Um, so, I never really post, so me posting is kind of either random, but uh, this time it kind of is random, but it's also important because there's... I'm in, I'm inside a car right now and school's getting out. Um, but I am going to talk about gun uh, violence. So if that's a trigger, please leave the video. Um, and I'm going to start talking about it. So... This last one that just happened out in Tennessee killed three kids and three adults. And it wasn't a, it really wasn't a surprise when something like this happened because a lot, this happens quite often and nothing is ever done about it. So when things like this happen, people always just are never really surprised because this has happened a lot. This is nothing new. And I think there needs to be a stop to this. Well, I don't think. I know there should be a stop to this. I am only... I'm still in high school. I'm not saying where, and I'm not saying what grade, but I am a teenager in high school who is afraid to go to their high, to school to get an education that I need so I can move on to the next big step of my life. But I'm afraid because stuff like this happens. I'm afraid of not coming home and I would like to come home. Every single day I go to school, I, I just want to come home to school, come back to my family, come back to my dogs. I just want to come home. But with what happens in America, it does not feel like I will come home. So every day when I do actually come home, it feels like a relief. And I should have talked about this last year when we actually had a threat that could have ended up being real because we did go into lockdown and we were stuck after school for at least 10, 15 minutes after because we had a threat of a gun. But everyone went home safely it was a threat. But if that had been real, would I have made it home? Would I still be here? Would I have still walked out safely, but had the trauma that I survived this when my fellow classmates or just people in my school did not make it? And, you know, those who are actually survivors of school shootings deal with this. Or some are just thankful that they're alive. Or some are just kids so they don't know what they're feeling because they're just kids. But high school students, they sometimes they feel survivor's guilt. And it makes sense because their their fellow classmates died or even teachers or staff died and they walked out of the building safe. And they deal with that while the government sends their thoughts and prayers for all those involved and their families who lost a child or family member. But what do, their, what do those thoughts and prayers do, okay? What do they do? They do nothing. If they did something, then 
parents or family members wouldn't have to deal with the loss of a loved one. They wouldn't have to be dealing with this anymore and their child would return home safely. But that never happens. If their thoughts and prayers worked, no one would be afraid of going to school. No one. And there would be gun laws. But their thoughts and prayers do nothing. And I know that no one can agree on gun laws because they're either too strict or they're too loose. But right now they are way too loose. Anyone can purchase a gun. Anyone. Not sure with a, like a little background check maybe. But not a heavily one. And guns are a problem. I don't care what people say. Guns are a problem. Guns have always been made to kill. And that's what they've been doing. They kill. They injure. And they take innocent lives, which they do not need to be doing. Guns can be useful for protection, but when it comes to AR-15 and all those other ones that people use to kill, that's those are the ones that need to be banned or taken away or when someone wants to purchase one more detailed back more detailed background checks because they are not enough the government is not doing enough they just sit here and some people they even say that the government is not going to do anything to fix these and they're just going to let their citizens die from gun violence. And they're going to let their students fear going to school. Fearing that they won't come home. All we want to do is come home at the end of the day. And not be shot up by someone who decides to enter our school building and take our lives. Or our friends. Or just our fellow classmates. No one wants to live in this world where this happens though some people don't care and people should care because what if it was your child or your loved one how would you feel if their life was taken by a gun and you just idly stand by and do nothing or you don't encourage for gun laws and I know that we can't make that decision but we have to do something we can't just stand by and stay quiet while lives continue to be taken and they don't just happen in schools they happen everywhere supermarkets just out anywhere like the Las Vegas tragedy that happened at a concert. Or, like I said, there was a supermarket tragedy. They happen way too often. And they need to be stopped. Because I'm sick of this. So many people are sick of this. But yet, no one listens. No one listens. And why? Why don't they listen? Because our opinion doesn't matter. Seems like none of our opinions matter. Unless you're really, truly a part of the government. But even then, you don't. Especially not when you're a teenager. No one takes you seriously because you're a teenager. What do you know better? What do you know what I know is I'm sick of this. My friends are sick of this. My parents are even sick of this. And they even fear for our lives. They hate to send us to school. And fear that our lives will be taken just by someone deciding to walk into a school with a gun. Yeah. 
this this is not what america should be like how america is in this today in this world this is not how it should be like we should have learned from the first shooting or at least when it started ha happening more frequently that's when people should have realized hey this is going to be a serious problem and we need to change this and yeah they didn't do anything they just stood by and they keep on watching these tragedies happen and still doing nothing and if you made it this far i want to thank you and hopefully one day there will be change but obviously today isn't the day but if you are one of those people that agree that there needs to be change please speak out because the more we speak out maybe there will be change and even if there isn't change at least you did something rather than just sitting and watching this happen just like people of the government uh goodbye